good morning so i'm getting ready to go back to work and uh, i want to do this quick video i'm packing my stuff and uh, i'm gonna do this quick video i know you can't see but my uniform is all over the place so i want to pack up my uniform and everything else that i need for work and then head to the airport go to work for those who are new my name is Marcy. um i work in the mine in the mines i do fly in fly out so anyway i want to do this quick video because i want to show you what i pack to work and i know maybe someone might be looking for a video they want to know what do i need to pack to go to work maybe you're starting your new job in the mines and you want to know what exactly do i need to pack that is exactly the reason why i'm doing this video and another thing i've been doing this for quite some time now so i'm kind of used to packing and i do it very fast actually and uh you probably if this is your first time you probably want to write down things you need because you don't want to miss out on something you don't want to get to the to work or get to the camp and you're like oh my god i forgot this and that i forgot this and that so you probably want to write down but for me what i normally do i lay everything out first as you can see my uniform is out um i got my bag out i got my backpack and all the other necessary personal items that I might I might need. I don't want to forget anything. That's the reason why I lay everything out first. And you probably this is what you want to do because you don't want to forget anything. You know, you don't want to get to the camp and I've forgotten this, I've forgotten that. So this is how I find it easier for me. So anyway, let's get into packing. And um, along the way, along the way in this video, I'm gonna give you, you know, some few tips here and there. In case i remember some of them like the first thing i'm gonna tell you before i even forget so the first thing you want to do before i get into packing is you want to have uh, bag tags on your bag you want to have bag tags and i know i've put plastic bags on my bag <laughs> i probably should do better this is my bag identifier or my bag tag because last time what happened is someone had an identical bag to my bag. I didn't have the bag tags. He didn't have the bag tags. He took my bag and I'm there waiting for my bag. And the last bag that came out wasn't mine, but it was exactly like mine. And this guy, maybe it was a lady, I really can't remember, had already taken off with, the, with my bag and left. So I had to go to the security and all that kind of stuff. And you don't want to be doing that. So make sure at least your bag has a bag tag and you can easily it's not gonna be easily be confused with someone else's bag so that is why i have this white plastic bag bags on my bag and i know i can do better but at this point i don't want to do better to be honest anyway let's get into packing so you need your bag and your backpack so the first thing i normally pack i start with my uniform because you know i don't want to forget the uniform that is the first thing i pack so depending on how long i'm gonna be gone for like now i'm gonna be gone for maybe two weeks or less i'm gonna pack three shirts one and you want to fold them you want to fold them and try to make it uh, a bit um not tiny but you know try to make it a bit smaller because you don't want to you don't want them to be occupying so much space in your back you know two three and of course i have this one four pants i'm gonna get three pants as well one so those are three pairs of uniform and of course i have this one i'm gonna be traveling with my uniform and before i forget most companies are uh, mine included they want you to travel uh with your uniform on you know your shirt your pants your boots your of course you're gonna be carrying your helmet because most of the times depending on what time you're gonna travel you're gonna go straight to work actually that is what happens most of the times even if you're gonna get there at four 
4 a 4 p.m sorry you're gonna go straight to work so that's the reason why i'm wearing my uniform so that i can go straight to work and i find it easy to be honest because you know the boots i don't want to be carrying the boots in my bag they are chunky and they kind of occupy a lot of space anyway so the next thing i'm gonna pack is the boots ah the socks I'm gonna pack five pairs of socks you know you can pack more you can pack less it really doesn't matter it depends on you know on how long you're gonna be gone for or how long you want to be doing your laundry for me to be honest I don't want to do my laundry frequently that's the reason why I pack I have like four pairs of uniform another thing you realize these socks they are thick socks they are not the normal socks they are better to work in the mines and uh we don't get this one you're not gonna be given a twerk if this is your first time working in the mines nobody's gonna be giving you socks you can buy the socks at um safety work for your shops but they are quite expensive there so just buy them at kema to be honest you're gonna buy maybe a ten dollars a couple of them maybe three pairs four pairs so just buy them at kema you don't want to spend so much money buying the socks they're still gonna do the job this one i bought in the safety shops this one i bought at kema they still do the same job it doesn't matter to be honest to me so anyway the next thing you want to pack is um for me this is a personal preference i like bringing another pair of, i like bringing another belt with me this is a personal preference because you never know i don't know your belt can break in I don't know where you're gonna get a new one to be honest i don't know where you're gonna get an extra one to be honest so i, I just like bringing an extra one to be honest I can have this one on and I bring it up. So that's the uniform. The next thing you wanna pack, you wanna bring um oh no. I got a jacket. So depending on the weather, you wanna bring your work jacket. If it's gonna be, you know, winter, the weather is gonna be cold, you wanna bring your work jacket with you and i'm not too sure whether i should bring the jacket to be honest but i remember the last time i didn't bring a jacket it was raining but the weather it was supposed to be hot it was raining so i don't know i think i'm gonna bring the jacket to be honest. so this is work jacket yeah it's gonna come in handy if it rains so and sometimes actually some companies even my company they have jackets sometimes you can get a jacket from the tool stores and you can get it from too <clears throat> depending on you know some companies they act different than the other companies so. okay the next thing you want to bring is um this neck protect sun protection gaiters i think that's how you call them gaiters they come in handy in most of the times for me i bring this one to protect my neck from the sun because it gets so hot i'm not gonna lie to you up north in the mines it's so hot i'm telling you especially if you're gonna be working during summer the sun is annoyingly hot the weather conditions are not the best i'm not gonna lie to you so i bring this sun neck protection sun protection gators i think that's how you call them and you can buy them some companies you can be given by your company you can find one in the tool stores but i like bringing mine because you never know so i use this one like i said for protection of my neck and and most of the time and sometimes all the time actually protecting my my hair so i'm gonna wear this one and i'm gonna wear the helmet the next thing you want to bring is a helmet ah fly net you don't forget to bring your fat fly net because depending on the site, I remember when I was working in them, we were doing this pipeline project. Oh my God, the flies were so many and so annoying. I, ha I haven't actually encountered a lot of flies for the last couple of months. And I haven't even used this fly net, but I like bringing it because you never know. Sometimes you will need it. So just bring a fly net with you and you can buy this at the safety safety workwear shops i have to actually just in case i just want to be prepared and some companies they have this in the other tool stores but 
Most of them actually they don't have, so just bring this with you. And I have my gloves here. You can pack your gloves if you, if you have them, or you can have them hang them on your on, on the side of your pants. And I like hanging them on the side of the pants. So I think we pack the uniform now. Home clothes. This is another my neck protection gaiter. Okay. The next thing you want to pack is home clothes. Now, you don't want to overpack. I'll be very honest with you. There's no need, to be honest. There's no need to overpack your home clothes because most of the times you're not even going to wear them, to be honest. So, for me, I only bring two t shirts. Just two t shirts and one leggings. One pair of leggings. Or sometimes I bring jeans one jeans one pair of jeans that is it for me that is enough you're gonna if you're gonna be i don't know if you're gonna be working out you're gonna be using the gym you probably want to bring more you, you want to bring your gym clothes but for me most of the time i don't go for dinner so and if even if i go for dinner i can always use this you know i can al always wear these and when you're packing your home clothes or your gym clothes you're not allowed to wear your singlet, you know, your vest to the dining room. So you might, maybe the sun, like now it's hot, you might want to bring your singlet, your vest. But you can, you can only wear those in your room because you can't wear those onto the dining room. Yes, yeah, somebody's going to be standing at the door and they're not going to allow you to come in. They're not going to allow you to go in with your singlet or your tank tops. They're not gonna allow you. They're not gonna allow you. Even if you're coming from the gym, and you're wearing your gym clothes, and they're like singlets on their vest, or their tank tops or crop tops, you're not gonna. They're not gonna allow you to go to use. They're not gonna allow you to go to the dining room wearing those. So anyway, so don't even overpack. To be honest, if you're gonna be going to the gym, you wanna bring your sneakers. For me, I bring my sneakers. I bring my sneakers because of the fly 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 out there what i'm gonna be wearing on my fly out there so i pack my sneakers sometimes i don't pack them because i don't mind flying flying out with my jeans and with my boots so when you're packing your home clothes you want to think about am i gonna be using the gym am i gonna be by the way they are swimming pool you want to bring your bathing suit if you're gonna be swimming or you know you're gonna think about you're also gonna think about what am i gonna wear on my fly out day you can wear your, your uniform on your fly out day nobody cares nobody nobody, nobody gives a shit or you want to bring your your jeans or whatever you want to bring and there is a reason why <laughs> my home clothes are neutral or the black navy blue gray i don't want to be bringing my white and see my sneakers the color I don't want to be bringing my white, you know, white home clothes to the mindset. No. It's so dirty. No dirty like dirty. There's a lot of dirt. Let me say that. There's a lot of dirt in the camp, in the mindset. So you don't want to be bringing your white sneakers. But if that's what you want to do, you still can do that. Nobody's going to say anything. I also like bringing my, but this is a, this is just my personal preference. I like bringing my, my lesson and my pajamas as well. I haven't gotten out my pajamas. Maybe I should go and bring them now. Oh my god, I don't know whether the video is getting too long or I have to take a water break. So, the next thing you want to pack is your water container or your water bottle. And make sure your, your water water container can keep your water cool for longer periods of time. 
I probably need a bigger one, but this is what I'm using at this point. You can buy a bigger one, but you will need water. You will need cold water all the time. So make sure you bring your water container. The next thing you want to pack is your uh, tapware. What do you call them? Lunch containers, because you're going to be packing your lunch. You're going to be packing your breakfast when you're going to work. You want to bring your container your food containers with you some companies they give um some companies they give the disposable containers but most of the times nowadays they're not giving so they're not giving the containers so most of the times we have to bring our own containers from home that's the reason why i have these two containers you can bring more but you can bring two or three depending on what you're gonna be packing for me i like packing one of them i pack fruit and the other one i pack Maybe chicken and vegetables and all that kind of stuff. You can pack your food containers and your water bottle in your backpack. That's the reason why you need the bag, the check-in bag, and you need your your backpack. So the next thing you want to pack is um I like packing things in order, but I don't know at this point whether I'm packing them in order. But I like packing them in order. Anyway, you want to pack your, your moisturizer or whatever you're going to be using, you know, moisturizer. I pack moisturizer, Vaseline, and then I have, I have some oil. I don't even know where that oil is, to be honest, at this point. So pack your moisturizer. I pack my moisturizers and my Vaseline, my oils, in my check-in bag. Because, of course, you know, the airport rules and all that kind of stuff. The next thing I pack is my shower gel. I bring my own shower gel because um, the tiny soaps or the kind of soaps they give at the camp, and they're not gonna do the job, I'm telling you. They're not gonna do nothing. They're not gonna do nothing on the dirt or the dust that your body is gonna be accumulated. Because I'm telling you, mind sight is dirt no no dirty there's a lot of dirt there's a lot of dust in the mind side and you're gonna be carrying all that on your skin so you want to bring your shower gel but this is personal preference some people they don't mind using those tiny little soaps that we get at the camp but i bring my own shower gel and this is my shower gel of choice yeah and i pack it i put i put it in the the plastic bag because they don't want it to be spilling on my clothes or my other stuff and I pack it on the side of the the pocket side of my check-in luggage okay the other thing you want to bring your hair product but please don't overpack like I said don't overpack just try to bring minimal stuff you know because you don't want you don't want your bag to be 20 kg or what 20 kg for what you don't want to overpack, you just want to pack light. So I bring my hairspray and I bring my hair oil. That's all I need. And the reason why I don't bring my shampoo because I try not to wash my hair outside. But some people, they wash their hair outside or in the camp. So you can bring your own shampoo, you can bring your own conditioner because nobody's going to be giving you that. Just let you know. But for me, I'm not going to be washing my hair in the camp. But this is what I pack for my hair. Thing I'm gonna pack this is washing powder, and the reason why I'm packing washing powder I never used to pack washing powder to be honest, but I realized I realize some sites I go to because remember I don't work in one particular site, I go all over the place, but I don't like mentioning where I work to be honest. That's the reason why I've kind of hidden you know, even the logo of this company I'm working for. So, anyway, so I realized in some camp. They don't give you the soap to be honest and most of the times no one is gonna tell you so you're gonna take your clothes to the washing to the laundry and you're not gonna find you're not gonna get um washing powder and you're gonna be stuck or you're gonna be like what am i gonna use but not all the sites actually i think it's only two sites or two camps i've encountered this so now i've made it a habit to have my washing powder in my bag but most of the camps they have the washing powder and the next thing i'm packing now i never used to pack is a couple of pegs you know if you don't want to put your clothes in the 
in the dryer you just want to hang them in the hanging line you might as well bring a couple of pegs with you or maybe sometimes you don't even have time to you know to put your clothes in the dryer and one thing before i forget most of the times you uniform when you wash your uniform you put them in the dryer they're gonna shrink that happens all the time so it is advisable when you're getting your uniform you want to get one size or two sizes bigger than what you normally wear actually i was gonna forget that it's very very important actually not only because of shrinking shrink it but also because you don't want to be uncomfortable when you're working in the site because you're going to be working in um confined spaces you're going to be climbing up you're going to be working at heights you're just going to be working in very uncomfortable uh, places you don't want to be wearing tight clothes you know you want to be wearing clothes that have room room in them you just don't want to be wearing tight things they are very very uncomfortable nobody told me this but i'm telling you this i learned the hard way trust you me i learned the hard way you want to bring your washing clothes these are my scrubbing gloves or whatever you use to wash your skin bring with you to wash your body whatever you use to wash your body bring with you don't forget to pack your wipes if you know you know all right i think we're nearly done i don't know why i feel like this video is taking so long it was not my intention to be honest but i realize when you're packing and you're talking and i kind of want to explain stuff i just don't want to pack for the sake of packing because i know somebody is going to be watching this video it is their first time working in the mines and they just want to know what they're supposed to pack and why Don't forget to pack your toothbrush, your toothpaste, and what I do myself, I find it easier. I have separate things for my home and I have separate items for when I'm going to work. I have toothbrush for home, toothbrush for taking with me to work, toothpaste, shower gel, and all the other things. So anyway, don't forget to toothbrush and toothpaste. I have this small bag. You can get a small bag as well. I'm not going to be needing this. I love this one. So I pack all my my serums, my you know, my moisturizer for the face in this tiny bag. So I pack my vitamin C. I pack my night serum. I pack my eye cream. Oh, I pack my cleanser. I hope it's not gonna spill. I pack my deal. Don't forget your deodorant. Please do not forget. Don't forget. You're gonna be sweating so bad. You're gonna be sweating so bad, and you're gonna be making other people uncomfortable. Please, please. You can't forget. And everything else I've said, even your moisturizer and everything else, but please don't forget your deodorant. And if you forget, there's a shop at the camp you can buy one, but please bring one with you. Another thing, sunscreen. If you're not gonna be bringing your sunscreen, what are you doing with your life, to be honest? What are you doing? And you'll be surprised. So many people, they don't wear sunscreen, actually. I find that to be so interesting, if you ask me. Because like I said, the sun, the sun burns your skin. You can even feel it. I'm telling you, I'm not even trying to scare you, but I'm telling you how it is. And I'm talking to those people who work outside those offices, who work out like me. I work in the fields. I'm, top, I'm on top of buildings and all the other things. So. And you can see the sunscreen is 50 plus. Uh, what do you call it spf 50 plus spf so bring your sunscreen please bring your sunscreen you know what i mean just bring your sunscreen sometimes they have sunscreen in the tall stores but i bring my own sunscreen and i put them in a this traveling container and then i pack this in my in my little bag
the next thing i was gonna forget is don't forget to bring your painkillers don't forget to bring your painkillers it is very important and something i was gonna tell you if this is your first time wearing your boots your new boots you want to bring elastoplast with you it's gonna come in handy because you never know whether you're gonna get those blisters or not so you want to bring elastoplast with you i remember uh, the first time i started working in the mines of course i bought a couple of these elastoplast but i didn't have to use them you probably wouldn't have to use them i'll bring these ones with you so you never know you never know you just want to be ready to put my toothbrush here Take my toothpaste out of the bag. Okay. So we nearly done. We nearly done. I hope you're finding this video helpful. So another thing you want to bring, you want to bring your safety glasses. Most companies they are gonna give you safety glasses clear ones and, and the dark ones but i like bringing mine i have these ones too most of their two swords they don't have these ones the next thing you want to bring you can bring a book if you're into reading yeah and this is the book that i'm currently reading what i realized i was gonna i was gonna forget my thongs please for the love of god do not forget to bring your thongs. Bring your thongs with you. Uh, and you don't want to be stepping in your room with your bare foot, to be honest. You don't want to be stepping in your room with nothing on your feet. So, or you don't want to be having a shower with nothing on your feet. You know, those bathrooms, so many people have been... Of course, they wash, they clean the rooms and everything. But just bring your thongs. Just bring your thongs. So, the next thing you want to bring is... um your airpods or earpods that's how they call them your wireless bluetooth you want to bring them fully charged and guess what i bring my earphones and i bring my uh, wireless bluetooth because you know what happens you have to bring something that is going to entertain you because sometimes you're going to wait you have to wait in the crib room for so many hours 12 hours who knows six hours Two days. What are you gonna be doing? What are you gonna be doing in the crib room if you don't have your music on? So don't forget to back to back your wireless Bluetooth or your earphones, earphones, whatever the name you wanna use on them. Just bring them fully charged, and don't forget to bring your charger. Don't forget to bring your charger. Don't forget to bring your power bank. I don't have a power bank at this point, but I think it is important. I think it is important to bring your power bank because, like I said, sometimes you're going to be waiting in the crib room, you know, waiting for the... There's so many things to eat, I'm telling you. Maybe you knew, maybe they're not ready for you to go and do the jobs, I don't know. There's just so many things. So most of the times, you there's this slogan they say in the mind, hurry up and wait, you know what I mean? So you will need something to entertain you, otherwise you're going to go bonkers telling you that's the reason why you can bring your book you can read i see some people bringing uh, their um, ipad but for me i don't bring my ipad my phone is enough for me uh you can bring your i see some people bringing their speakers you know when they're working they kind of pull put you know there's some music going on they're busy or boiling stuff or they're busy working you can bring your speaker as well nobody has a problem with that and um what else yeah bring something to entertain you you will need it bring your music download some type of a movie you will need it i'm telling you you will need it some people we wait for so many hours in the crib room because the job is not ready or we're waiting for the permits and all the other things so just bring a couple of things to entertain you and i think don't forget to bring your ticket bring your um high-risk work license or your white card your confined space tickets you know you're working with heights and all the other tickets that you have just bring them with you and i think don't forget to bring your 
uh, license. You know, your license or your identification card or your passport, you will need it. Don't forget to bring your pen. I was gonna forget that actually. Don't forget to please come. Please bring a pen. You're gonna be signing something. You're gonna be writing your name on something. Please just bring a pen. What else? I think that's it actually. I think that's it for the video. I think that's it. I think I'm done. I think I've told you everything. Oh, another thing I was gonna say is leave your rings, your engagement rings, your marriage rings. This is if you're gonna be working in a mine site in the field. If you're gonna be working in the office, by all means, wear all your rings. I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't work in that in, the, in that field, so I cannot advise you on that. But if you're gonna be working, you know, you are trendy, you're gonna be working in the, in the plant, all your rings, you know, your engagement ring, your your um, marriage ring, and all those kind of things. Please don't don't even bother. Don't bring them. Don't bring them. Because they're going to ask you to take them off. Because it, it's a safety hazard, you know. If something happens, if something happens, or you get an accident, or I don't even want to scare you guys, but it's a safety hazard, just know that. So don't bring your rings with you. Because, you know, you work in a very risky environment, you know. So all safety measures and precautions have to be put first, you know. That's why there's so many rules in the mindset. What else was I going to say? Um, I can't say that actually. I kind of written something down. Yeah, I think that's it to be honest. I think we finish. I think we finish. Oh, oh my god, I was gonna forget. Don't forget to bring your, your supplements. This is what I'm having at this point calcium and vitamin D. But some people they have different other supplements so just bring new supplements with you and this is my supplement of choice at this point and also another thing i was gonna say i know someone is gonna ask can i bring fruits can i bring food can i bring snacks you can bring all your snacks all the snacks you want you can bring them with you and if you need to buy snacks these are shop at the camp you can buy snacks if you want to but because you don't want to spend more money, maybe the snacks are costing two dollars, they're gonna be selling them there, there at six dollars. So just bring your snack, snacks with you. Nobody has a problem with that. I've seen some people actually bringing food, bringing bananas or something. You, you're gonna find bananas that come sometimes, you're not gonna find bananas, but I see some people bringing them. I see some people bringing, I saw someone writing that they want to bring food, their frozen food. You can bring the food with you, but for me. I don't care to be honest. I just want to work and get paid. That's all I want at this point in my life. So, you can bring anything you want to be honest. Nobody cares. Whatever is going to make you happy, just bring. Don't forget to bring your helmet with you. And I like bringing my helmet strap. Because sometimes you're working on top of a building and it's windy. You don't want your helmet to be flying. Bring your helmet with you. You can get a this truck from the tool store, but I like having one on on me all the time because that's how I like operating. Anyway, I think we are done. I think we are done, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And then my battery is telling me it's time to move, and I'll see you on the next video. And congratulations. On your five row if this is your first time and welcome welcome on board and come come and secure the bag darling come and secure the bag i'll see you next time thank you so much for watching thank you so much for liking my content i really really appreciate thank you so much for all those that take their time to leave a comment on my videos and thank you so much for all those people that write me those sweet messages in my dms on instagram oh my god i see all those messages and i really 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 appreciate you i really really appreciate from the bottom of my heart so i have to finish up but i have finished up and go to work thank you i'll see you in the next video thank you so much